what's up guys and welcome back to the channel now today we are gonna be talking about the nine best far cry weapons to use so be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and see the weapons okay so the first one we have the spaz 12 flame out shotgun you can never go wrong with a shotgun in your loadout but the flame out shotgun is particularly amazing for its rate of fire being able to make short work of any approaching enemy groups in addition it can also be equipped with incendiary rounds which makes it all the more destructive against multiple foes and deserving of its title and the second one we have the slingshot despite what you might assume it does Far Cry 5 slingshot actually lets you fire arrows. It sounds absurd, but its quick firing speed puts it a slight step above the standard bow, close range. It can even fire specialty arrows like the incendiary rounds or explosive arrows. If you are a fan of stealthily picking off cultists with arrows, the slingshot comes highly recommended. It also comes with an un unlimited supply of rocks as an alternate ammunition which while nowhere near as powerful as arrows but makes for a good laugh and very well able to use them to land a headshot. And on the third spot we have SA-50 Free State. Man, if you are looking for an all round great sniper rifle that balance heavy stopping power range and a semi-auto rate of fire then the SA-50 free state comes highly recommended it sports a solid state of fire with little recoil when aiming down sights and when equipped with a suppressor you can make sharp work of any enemy camps with little consequences and on the fourth place we have M90 shark shooter when a firefight goes south and the cultists start showing up in the trucks, the M9, M79 sharpshooter grenade launcher offers a quick way to recover. With its destructive splash damaging grenades, you can make short work of enemy groups and easily take out incoming vehicles. It supports a short firing range to be mindful of your aiming arc and the general spacing between you and the potential dangers ahead. In addition, the shock shooter replace your sidearm slot, freeing up your other slots to equip powerful weapons. The fifth one we have, Mid-44 Magnum and so called the Sixer. There is not a whole lot to say about the 44 Magnum, it's simply a uh, an incredible powerful sidearm that can down enemies in a single shot. If wielding a powerful handgun sounds like your idea of a good time, then steel and ivory is well worth using. As long as you're quick and precise, it's guaranteed to get you out of a pinch. And on number 6 we have the Rat 4. If you are interested in adding a rocket launcher to your loadout, then the RAT4 is a solid choice. It can look on it sorry, it can lock onto vehicles and planes, which makes it incredibly useful. If you're not accustomed to handling rocket launchers, in in addition, you can even manually guide its missiles. Similar to the LK-1018 from Far Cry 4, if you guys remember, the RAT-4 becomes essential later on when the enemy helicopters and the attack planes shows up in great numbers. And on the 7th spot we have ARCL Shark Bite. The ARCL Shark Bite strikes a fine balance between an assault and a sniper rifle. Being capable of semi-auto automatic fire while retaining minimum recoil for precise firing. 
It can be a great way to free up an equipment slot if you're tired of lugging around both a sniper and assault rifle. And on the 8th place we have the Magno Pulsar. The Magno Pulsar is one of the few weapons in Far Cry 5 to have unlimited ammo, which can be useful when, when you're in a bind. Earned by completing a series of side quests with Larry, the mad science, scientist of Holland Valley, the, this alien weapon fires a blast of energy that either vaporizes enemies or sends them flying. Depending on the range you fired from, it's best to use the Magna Pulsar against a crowd. But if you, if you must use against a single enemy, try shooting it at their feet to stagger them and follow up with a melee attack. Otherwise, fire it at point blank range to instantly dissolve enemies into pink mush. But be wary. However, as you can't lure a vaporized body, and avoid using a magna pulsar against heavy enemies as it can cannot instantly vaporize them and on the last part we have of course the optimism the melee weapon unlike past games melee weapons in far cry 5 are incredibly useful while they make for a great shot range damage dealer it's also possible to throw them long distances at enemies for massive damage or to stagger them. The close combat mastery perk further enhances the damage dealt, and with the aid of performance enhancing drugs like the Fast and the Furious, melee weapons are made even deadlier. Uh, when standard firearms wear out their weapon, you can't go wrong with holding shower pads or pipes at uns unsuspecting cultists. If you're looking for a melee weapon with a finer aesthetic touch, then you should definitely purchase the Optimism Shovel at one of the local weapon shops. It's literally a shovel with a smiley face painted onto it. Brilliant. And there you go guys. These were the 9 best Far Cry 5 weapons to use, uh, well in my opinion. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video